Hi, this video we're going to show you about our HDMI encoder, which is actually we can have the HDMI in, then we can have the uh, LAN cable LAN out, which is uh, we can work as the RDSP or the RDMP for the uh, online broadcasting or the HTTP, UDP or RTP. So here I'm going to show you how we can do the settings. We also can have the audio uh, embedded encoded with the HDMI together then to the RTSP. So here we have the settings, basically this uh, portable unit and it's quite tight and then we have a LAN cable now connect to my PC which we can do the uh, management or do the settings and now I have the input which is from this uh, Apple TV box. So now we are going to check out how we do the settings. So the default IP address of this unit is uh, 192.168.1.168 But right now I already have it changed to uh, this IP address So this is the IP address which I, I changed But uh, the default is 168 here Okay, so we just can log in And after we log in, and this is the uh, interface which for us to management the uh, encoder itself so for the management and we can see we have the encode here and we can do the settings including we can use the mgpg or different encoding type we also can set up if we want to use the RDSP, we can just enable or disable and then we can just hit the apply button and we should set successfully so we're back to the installers then we can just uh, preview the mainstream by hit this button, this link here. So now we can just preview the uh, HDMI source and encode it to the MGPG format. I also can just copy this command, uh, this address. Cut link address. We can just go to the VLC player. And this is the VLC player, and then we can just go to the media, open our stream. We can paste the uh, link here. Okay, this is the link we just copied, and we hit the play button. So we can use the uh, VLC player to play as well. And this one is from the web browser to preview the input source. And this is the uh, encoding type by the uh, MG, MG pad. But I also can just have it change to the H264. When change to uh, H264, then we have like uh, more options, including the TSUO. We can just enable them, or we can just have the FLV. We can just enable. RDSP enable RDMP enable as well. Okay, so we can have like we also can just for the multicast IP, which we'll is hit the apply button. Yeah, successfully. Then we we'll go back to the status and let's check out the preview. So this is the uh, preview. And now if we're going to have the, uh, using the VLC player, we can just copy either using the RDSP or use the FLV. So now I'm just going to copy the RDSP. Then go to the uh, VLC. And then go to the media player. Same. Open now stream. Paste the RDSP address we copy. Play. So now it's playing the RDSP address, which is uh, from the encoder. Also, can just preview the source here. Okay. 
So this is the uh, HTML encoder, but also on the web GUI page, we also can have the uh, other functions, including like the OSD. Right, we can have the OSD as well. Then we can have like different uh, background color, text, and also we can have a logo. And this is the system, which is mainly for us to set up like the IP address and or reboot, reset, and these functions. Okay, so this is the our HDMI encoder, which is uh, can support the RDSP, all the other RDMP, all the other uh, protocols. Thank you.